Hi Libra, <clears throat> welcome to your reading for, this is the last reading of 2023, this is for December the 26th to January the 1st. Um, let's jump straight in, five card read, present position, present expectation, unexpected, short term future, long term future, and energy across the bottom which kind of informs the read, gives it a little bit of a theme. So the thing we have, six of wands, is um, victory, triumphant victory. <clears throat> the lion has killed the hunter. Everyone's really happy about it. There's an end to hostilities here. Um, it, it's it's quite a transient. It, it's quite a short-lived victory. I think if we would if we were going to go with the season and say it's like putting down the Christmas dinner, everybody goes, "Wow, that's amazing!" And an hour later, it's gone. And you go, "What now?" You know. So it doesn't stop it being an amazing victory, but it was done and dusted. What next? Your present position is um, very attractive, very flirty. This is the Queen of Wands. Peacock crown, she's got a, a rose in her hand. She, she's very, yeah, just attractive, flirty energy. This is you at a party. All heads turn as you walk in. Everyone wants to know you. Um, simple as that, really, Libra. You know, you, you're very attractive at this time. Um, you don't have to be physically attractive to attract people towards you. You could be interested. You could be telling a joke. could be the way you carry yourself. Um, it could be others in your family. Maybe you're attractive because you, you've got adorable children, you know, or you've got a fantastic dog. You know, it doesn't doesn't matter. But yeah, you are very attractive at this time. Present expectation. Um, you're expecting to have to kind of lead by example. If you look here, this this gannet or gull or whatever has decided it was hungry. It wanted fish. It wanted a particular school of fish. It wanted that particular fish. So it's about target and focus and intent. It's like. I am hungry, therefore I'm going to do X, Y, Z to get what I need to get. It's such an inspiring way of thinking that other people are being drawn to it as well. So it really is a leadership card, you know, keep doing that. So not only are you really attractive, other people are, are, are drawn to that kind of energy as well. I would love to see this card. It's surprising it's in the unexpected. It's probably top five cards in this deck. This is the Page of Pentacles. She really wants that particular gold coin. Now, it could be money. It, it could just be her dream. It could be a, a partner. It could be it could be a, a position of power. You know, it could be a way of thinking. It doesn't have to be a material thing. She might go, do you know, I just wish I was more confident when I was getting changed when I went to the swimming baths. Something really specific like that. She's naked because she's unashamed. She's got unashamed, unafraid, authentic, nothing to hide. The most important thing about this card is out of all of these things, this is the one she wants. She's not going for it because it's the biggest. It could be that this is just the closest. But that's the one she wants. And she's really fixated on that. She's determined. And she's pulling herself up one-handed. So it's real focus, determination, and the fact that she knows she's going to succeed. Why it's in the unexpected position, I don't know. Short-term future starts so next week is um, it's a card of status quo. You've got the Four of Pentacles here. These big, beautiful coins that should be being spent are just being buried in the ground and vines are growing up them. Butterflies, which is a symbol of idea, generation and transformation, are getting stuck in the cobwebs of your mind. You're not letting these ideas go free. I remember as a child having fantastic ideas for lyrics, for songs and, and stories but never writing them down. I used to draw things instead, so I'd illustrate the story in my head, but I never write the story down. And I do believe everyone's got a story inside of them that needs to be heard. But, you know, this is very much a card of, of status quo, staying where you are. You know, it's uh, the job's good enough. You know, the relationship's good enough. I'll stay where I am. Not, I'm not saying that's negative, by the way. I'm not saying you're in a bad situation. But we often talk about how difficult it is to step out of... A situation unless it's really bad you know most people go it's okay i'll stick with okay and then long-term future moving into the next couple of weeks we have the queen of cups queen of cups is she's all about balance she's all about seeing both sides keeping everybody happy it's got two koi carp down at feet one black one white it is all about the balance with this young lady here you know this energy is is you know making sure everyone's glass is full making sure everyone's got enough food making sure they can find the way to the party find the way home again making sure they got home safely love 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 that energy so it's you know so far so good the only thing i'm a bit intrigued about is this unexpected card here so let's uh i was going to say manifest 
let's uh, clarify, let's manifest these cards. Let's clarify these. Uh, we have the choices card. So, yeah, I think there are a lot of choices over the next couple of weeks, Libra. I, I don't think it's what this particular deck talks about, which I thought was quite interesting, was if all the choices seem equally appealing, now is not the time to choose. I've never read that about this card before. I always think not making a choice is, is you know, some people go, well, not making a choice is a choice. It's like, it's not really, though, is it? You know, what the universe is doing here is going, do you want these things? You know, do you want wealth? Do you want the house? Do you, what, what is it you want? Do you even want the unknown? What is it that you want? What thing? And it'll all turn back to smoke if you don't choose. Um, so, yeah, lots of choices over the next couple of weeks. Could be as simple as, do we go and see my granny first or your granny first? Are we going at lunchtime? Are we going in the afternoon? Are we go in the afternoon and we'll get to see mine. We'll have to stay over, you know. And one thing leads to another, doesn't it? One choice leads to another. And you end up down this path of how the hell did we end up staying at my grandma's for four nights? Yeah. Um, on top of the three of wands, you've got the two of pentacles. Simply put, you know, balancing is it's a balancing act, and of course, it's going to be a balancing act over the next couple of weeks. Probably one of the busiest times of year, certainly for people in the UK. Uh, I know America Thanksgiving tends to be a bit more family orientated. I, I don't know that as a fact, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but certainly, this time of year, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, is a great time of year to meet up with family and friends. So, there is going to be a lot of juggling of your time and finances, and you know, lots of people are going to want to see you and be with you. Well, there you go, you're just fabulous, aren't you? What do you expect? Uh, Queen of Wands, we've already had the Queen of Wands, haven't we? Yeah, Queen of Wands twice. So, this is definitely the message. Um, Queen of Wands, I love the illustrations on this. Let's see if I can. There you go, will it focus? Queen of Wands, she's passionate, she's enthusiastic. Like all the queens, the energy is very sophisticated, you know. She's been around the block, she's been to lots of these parties. What's interesting about this particular card is that sunflower there, sunflowers grow incredibly fast, and that's her energy. It is a fast, old energy, you know. If she needs to get a wriggle on, she'll get a wriggle on. Um, clearly, Leo energy there, there's lots of lions on the card, there's lots of golds and reds. So it's, yeah, passion, enthusiasm, um name what she wants but yes it's going to be something quite fast so hmm, not sure how that sits with the page of pentacles if i'm honest libra i just don't know um i'm libra myself so i'm trying to kind of put it into my own life over the next couple of weeks and i can't so i'm just going to leave that in the unexpected what i would say is what's going to happen is going to be unexpected and it's going to be fast i think you are going to be aware of it when it happens um and it is something that you've been focusing on Mm, interesting very interesting let's follow up on that in a week or two and see where we get to short term future you've got the hoarding card and you realize that you know the status quo is not going to work you need to move on to a different place way of thinking whatever the choppy waters here this this is called the refugee card this mother is taking a child and hardly anything else with her to this new destination she doesn't even know where she's going she just knows that where she is now isn't working for her yep the only thing is these swords are your burdens and you're taking them with you. They're not going away. So if you've got money problems and you move to another state, guess what? You've got money problems in another state. You know, you, you didn't escape from it. You will need to address those problems at some point. But for now, maybe just stepping out of the status quo is enough. And going, Do you know what? This isn't working for me. I need to move on to a different dot, dot, dot. And then long term future, next one, two, three weeks, the death card. Oh, it's all change. Um, I say change is inevitable. There is nothing you can do about it. You know, the king is dead. The king couldn't stop it happening with all his wealth and power. The priest can't stop it. He goes, but I believe in God. I was going to live forever. That's not going to stop it. The mother's going, I'm too young. And the child's going, oh, look, the pretty man on the white horse. You know, it's only children who aren't afraid of change. They just go, OK, we're moving to Hong Kong. Let's move to Hong Kong. You know, what, what he does talk about is the path is clear and it goes between these two pillars here between the wants and needs, the head and heart, as above, so below, you know, and the sun is coming up. With with this inevitable ending, there will be a new beginning. So the easiest way I can say this to people is, if you have read all seven Harry Potter books, when you finish the last word on the last page of the last book, that was it, it was over. Now, some people go, well, I read all seven every year, and I'm sure you do, but you'll never get back that initial 
the first time you read the book is the first time you read the book. There is no second chance. You know, you've done it now. You might get more subtle nuances the more you read it. But that's what the death card is. The death card is that bit is over. You've read all seven books, put them down. Are you going to read them again? Are you going to watch the films? Are you going to choose different books? Or are you never going to read a book again? There are lots of things that, that the death card lets you move on to. Yeah, It doesn't have to be anything more serious than, oh, I've finished the last book in the Harry Potter series. I'm going to go back and start again. Fine, go back and start again. So it, it doesn't have to be death. You know, It just means there is a change coming. And the change is... You read all those books. You can't reread them. You can't forget what you read. So you just have to appreciate that and move on. I'm just going to clarify one more for a reading for the whole read here. I think I'm going to put it on top of the unexpected card because I'm still not quite sure. We've got speed. We've got unexpected. We've got focus, determination, authenticity. This is what you really want. Mm. What you really want is to heal. What you really want is to heal. You want to get over something. So there is still something lingering in the back of your mind, Libra, that you've not quite dealt with. You're not quite dealt with it. So, yeah, the universe is going, come on, Steve, we know what you're talking about here. Let's just put this card up there. Again, the, the Rider Waite deck is just superb for storytelling, isn't it? Stormy clouds pouring with rain. There are three swords in that hard. It, it could not be more over, you know, it's over, it's over, it's over. But what it talks about more than that is, are you the sword or are you the heart? Have you hurt somebody so badly that maybe you want to go back and address it and get these storm clouds to go away? So all you need to do is, if this is you, by the way, go back and tell someone it's over, it's done with. We're not going to be together ever again. You know, I've got a new family, you've got a new family, or, you know, someone's hurt you and you just need to get closure on that. So you just need to email them, see them, and they just go, no, it's done, it's over, that's it. And then you can move on with the rest of your life. You know, there's the change. It's over, it's done with. So that's that's what it's about this week. Um, you need to heal or you need to make sure that somebody can heal and, and just be, just be brutal sounds a bit harsh, but just be really clear and really honest with someone. If it's over, it's over. And they need to tell you the same thing. Just go, you know, just tell me the truth. Is there any hope in this situation? It doesn't have to be love, by the way. It could be your relationship with your neighbour. It could be a, a role at work. You know, am I going to get this promotion or not? No, you're not. OK, right, fine. I can then stay in the role I'm in or go and find a different job or something. Yeah, you just want the truth. Yeah. All right, guys, have a good one. And I will see you in 2023. Wow, that came around fast. Take care.